Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Mike. Who's Mike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never used it before. I've kind of watched, you know. <laughs> yeah, hi. hi, hi. <laughs> the dude. The dude. Oh, you're the dude? He shaved his... I'm like, Damn it, I, can't be the beer, I can't be the dude anymore. No. Yeah, see? Yeah. Now you're the guy. As I was driving oh, here, I saw a guy driving who looked exactly like the dude. He was wearing the sunglasses, <laughs> his long hair and beard. I'm like, wow. Was he, the the, dude. Was, he a, was he in a robe? See what I mean? Bathrobe? Uh, he wasn't wearing a suit, that's for sure. <laughs> there's, there's a guy, New York City, owns a novelty shop that just sells stuff related to the Big Lombowski, and he looks exactly like Jeff Bridges. Nice. And he owns the shop and runs it. Like he, and he shows up to work every day with the bathrobe, the whole get up every day. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Don't ask me where I saw that, but it's, it's a real thing. Does his credence play in the store? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, uh, if you were really moving in, yeah. It's a safe bet. He's I a fucking hate the Eagles, yeah, man. <laughs> And John? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get around the rest of us sooner or later. <laughs> and Britt? How's it going? And Chelsea. With her, with her uh, mason jar of wine. <laughs> Small mason jar. <laughs> She's tiny. Carry on, I heard a funny noise. Uh-oh. What? No, that's... Clearly, the timer. Oh, okay. Clearly. Uh, clearly, <laughs> I it, it sounded a little different. Clearly. <laughs> clearly. Well, you look at the timer. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, clearly, right. well, you well, anyway, delusional ass. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Conversation as I fix the timer. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Professional operation. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. You guys just <laughs> hang out over here. <laughs> All right. So, how many of you? Entered the. I haven't asked the question yet, John. God damn it. <laughs> We've talked about this. <laughs> we verified Steve's the archon. Go with it. Why change things up now? <laughs> okay, so how many of you came to anarchism through pure reason? Duh. Like somebody just had. I feel like I did. Okay, fair. All right, cool. The I I didn't. I got the concept, but didn't understand it. And then the V fifty lectures. Oh yeah, those are very good. Those were very good. Fifty hours. Very good. And by the end of it, there was no coming back. Brow, <laughs> brow beaten yeah. into you. Yeah. I haven't heard all of them, but I've heard a couple of them. They're very good. I was good, listening yeah. to one once on the way somewhere when I was driving, and a cop pulled me over, and it was just so bad. Cause <laughs> I was all pumped up and ready to go. He like he was about to take me away, but <laughs> luckily that situation was avoided. Just yeah. barely, though. Yeah, barely. Did you get it on film? No. That's funny. V50. I've heard of these things, but I've never seen it's them. It's very yeah. good. That, uh... Galambos. Yeah, that Andrew Galambos. Oh, uh, Galambos. Yeah. That one lecture that we both heard. Well, Snelson. I That's actually, on there, too. Snelson, yeah. I, met, I mm. got introduced to them be- through because I met his wife. And, uh, Tony and Dave that come to Libertopia, they're uh, also part... Uh-huh. They saw his book there. Right. Really good Crazy stuff. into IP, though. Right. right. Like makes his students sign things that say that they will not talk about stuff that they learn in his lectures. Is he Crazy. Still, is he still among us, or is he, no, like, kind of gone? Yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, I don't think he's around anymore. For it's, me, it, it, uh, getting to anarchy took a long time. I'd say, you know, the better part of eight or nine years. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, I think I think reason did, did play a huge part in that. I think... Uh, you know, early on, I kind of like got the idea, but it was still just too scary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So just the rest of the the time was just kind of educating myself on the the topics and issues, and uh, yeah, eventually, I was like, it's that's the way to be. It's almost like the feeling, just because it's ingrained, is that we need rulers and we need order and someone in charge, and so you have to overcome that feeling with like reason almost first. And then I think the feeling that goes along with it for some people. Uh, how much? How much easier do you think it would be to accept 
the idea is, though, if we approached it with uh, a more empathetic attitude, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, Any idea, if you don't have, like, empathy with it, then you're, no one, you're not understanding where that person's at, and you've become too aggressive with them, I think, and sometimes, like, we're talking about, like, anarchists can tend to be aggressive. Yeah. And that's not the, some, I've got an, actually, someone who won't be named, uh, that I knew very well, was very aggressive, and we used to talk, because when you do that to someone, it turns them off of the idea completely. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. not what you want. For sure. You mm -hmm. know, they don't want to have anything to do with it after they've been, like, berated. So, it's very, like, you, you got to be gentle. <laughs> no. Oh, no. That's boyfriend. Mm. That who shall, shall not be named. I understand. He I changes know. his name very frequently. So Interesting. <laughs> <very> <laughs> <laughs> you just Except for you can't do that on Facebook moment. anymore. <laughs> it's fa oh. Facebook won't let you. Facebook, aka the man now, apparently. Mm. I had a friend of mine who had uh, their real name up there, and then they changed it to a fake name. And then that's when Facebook changed over to, like, you can't change your name. You have to have your real name uh. up there and all that. And so they tried to change the name back to the original name, and Facebook wouldn't let them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't be Zora, Aurora, Victoria anymore. No. <laughs> That's too bad. Zora. Unless you can show uh, uh, a photo ID. <laughs> wow. Facebook says, we heard Windows 10 said, this is your name. Windows 10 told us, this is your real name. <laughs> Yeah. Windows. That, wow. that that sounds like a joke, but that's coming. Yeah, no, that's yeah. why I said it. No, it's a real thing. Yeah, Windows <laughs> yeah, 10 is just going to be the the, the, the go-to software of like we have your information. Welcome to the matrix. You you won't Man. be you won't be entering your name anywhere anymore. Apple's going to have to play that thing too. I wonder what what uh, you know when when does that come and how does it, what does it look like? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think we just all have to learn Linux, no matter how difficult scary. it is. I think that's our only option at this point. But that is a completely different show topic. Yeah, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about the... Uh, Spreading uh, anarchy with uh, empathy. Uh, right, right, right. Hard and soft think, anarchy, right? Was, was that yeah, the, the yes. terminology? Well, uh, some people call it soft anarchy or relationalist anarchism because you're... Uh, building relationships with people. Yeah. Uh, which is really, I mean, if you're not building relationships with people, what's the point anyway? Yeah. You know? Well, an anarchy takes, it seems like... Some people being, don't like people. Yeah, some people don't. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people true. who just don't like people. There's yeah. a lot of misanthropy. Yeah, but then those people the, aren't the ones spreading okay. anarchy. Well, no, they could, there could be anarchists in their own. There could be a lot of people yeah. who what? really have to be... I didn't say they couldn't be anarchists. They said they wouldn't be the ones spreading anarchy. No, you're right. They wouldn't be Because spreading. they don't like people. Right. But he said what? He said what with a hard T? That means he was no, like no. really put off by it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't, you can't say that they're bad and wrong because they aren't. They're just they're kind of. I, I don't yeah. believe I use yeah. terms like bad or wrong. I know you didn't. You <laughs> it. I said, what's the point? But it does take a while, as simple of a thing as it seems to um, be, to really, I think understand how maybe it could work so that's why the relationship is important to it's i don't think it's going to take one conversation you know well no one likes and to be the outsider so you got to show that you know you're willing to be that, that there's a community behind it and oh, that yeah. it's a mm -hmm. f nice and friendly community that that wants you part of their you know uh just sharing those values and um so there's more backing to it right so and, and anarchy is a scary word it, it seems like chaos to yeah. a lot of people so yeah that's that's def definitely the well association not when you think about people like but, burning down houses and like but it chaos isn't good or evil well they are 
Chaos actively is, changing is, that word. I, I yeah. Do say actively. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, no, it's just disorder. It just are when things are in disorder, things? people get scared. Yeah. Order they, is order is an illusion anyway. Yeah. Is it yeah. though? There's a lot of order in nature. Yeah. Yeah. What what is what what are you calling Boundaries order though? Well, like look at you guys. Patterns. 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 Yeah. Patterns and boundaries. Yeah. <coughs> that, that function in a certain way because the of sun the comes pe- up and goes right. down right. and there's a rhythm. There's certain patterns. There's certain and that's why I think once you got rid of like the parasite, that people would naturally get into their own rhythm and everything yeah, would be. I fine. agree. And, but it may be a little chaotic. It may be spontaneous, spontaneous order. Yeah, spontaneous in in order. that process. Yeah. And chaos is, is, is a beautiful thing. If you can yeah. look at it as a, a creative time, it's like, whoa, look at all this creativity. Yeah. There's so much it's of it. It's the phoenix. It seems yeah. so scary and chaotic, but it's yeah. not. Burn it all down. No, we don't talk to you. <laughs> a, a, a long time when, when somebody you says chaos. And maybe it has to be. Some of it has to be burned down. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta burn it all down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I'm not saying we burn it all down, but sometimes you gotta burn it all down. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it may not be meat, but somebody may burn it all down. Um, yeah, Actually, but you, you said chaos, and, on that, like, and, on and because like of, um, you know, thankfully because of. Science. No, I mean, I, I shouldn't put that in quotes because I actually think chaos theory is very interesting. But if somebody says chaos, like I, 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 I tend to try to steer people towards chaos theory, which is uh, the, okay, chaos theory in a nutshell. It's the universe is so complicated that you cannot possibly yeah. interpret the pattern that it is making, yeah. but yet there is a pattern I that agree. you can verify. It's, yeah. Yes. Does it sound contradictory? Yeah. It's because it is. Right. But that's actually yeah. the way the universe works. We live works. in a paradox. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, when somebody says chaos, and yet we I'm don't. Not, like, oh. I'll just say it. <laughs> yeah, But as far as this thought idea about burning it down, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no I, I want to go back to that for a moment. <laughs> there was a comment about uh, Mount, Mount Rushmore a couple weeks ago that like, like, may or may not have caused us a problem. I'm not really sure. <laughs> no, I, the idea, like, even if it's just... Uh, our mind, our yeah. the way we think, yeah. is that, you know, our mental house, so to speak. Yeah. Everyone needs their house burned down. A clean out. Yeah. Right. To like, the ground. Clean you, out. When, when, yeah. you know, when you've had your house burnt down, in this case, we're talking about thoughts here. Right. You, you, what you hold, the constructs yeah. that you hold to be predominantly true, whatever, you become a lot less fearful once you've. Mm-hmm. Let it burn, you know, just let it go, burn it down, question when you, the things you hold true. And, uh, yeah, in that case, I think we all need to at least have a burn, you know, have, our, have our constructs yeah. burnt down, yeah. you know. There you go. I think it constructs was, uh, burnt down. I like that. I like and, that. Uh, just as a, an example the to bring to tie nature into that, yeah. uh, you, um, I think it was in the early 90s, the Yosemite National Park, thousands of acres caught fire, and, uh, you know, I was all worried, you know. I remember that, this that. Is, yeah. I remember you know, that, this yeah. is terrible. But uh, um, after the fires, um, the wildlife just grew back, you know, larger, yeah. greener, you know, like healthier than, than it was before. Yeah. So Sequoias can't grow yeah. unless the, the pine cones are first burned. Yucca plants do that, and, too. And, and the fire is what makes them way. drop. It has to be yep. temperature before uh, it will sprout. And yeah. they hold on to their pine cones for 40 years. <laughs> Yeah, up to wow. 40 years, right? Oh so, And the fire is what the stimulates them to drop, and, and then they simple. burn. And now that we've gone to putting fires out, they don't get to do that anymore. Yeah. So, wow. it, so sequoias are becoming We're about due for a endangered, burning. right? Yeah, yeah. Because we yeah. have altered the, the course of nature, and so they don't get a chance to germinate and start a new. Yeah, yeah. in a certain geological Trying location. Trying to establish order, you know, you're, you're yeah. causing more harm than good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let the motherfucker burn. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> at, at, at the at the um, cost of my own peril, I suppose to continue with the the analogy of burning burning it all down. Um, if your house burns down, guess what else you got rid of? You got rid of your roach problem. You got rid of your mouse problem. <laughs> you got rid of all your like you know like things that are living off of you problem. Killed See? all those spiders. Yeah, you killed all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's it's like yeah, okay, like. 
there's always, uh, I don't want to say silver lining because oh, it's that's... kind of a cliche, but there's, you know, there are good things that come out of, well, I build all over again. Okay, what do I do? It's well, like, I... it's a necessary step, I think, almost. I, um, I don't know. It was for I, me, I, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I used to think that maybe it could just, like, evolve into something else. But there is, it, you see it, like, Mutual. in nature, and it is, like, the cleansing, the burning of the old and something new coming out of that. Mm -hmm. It happens with culture. It happens all around us. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You guys, like, burning shit? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Chelsea. You're making some... <coughs> Chair's done. Continue. But um, but there's that apprehension that you know we we don't want to burn down you know every, everything we built right now. Right. And I, I mean the spend a lot of time people on people like security. Oh, this took some time, some effort. People love security. But that's why you don't see a lot of yeah. older people coming to it. Right. A lot of times. Older well, people. but just because you go into anarchy doesn't mean you have to burn sh stuff down. You know what I'm saying? Don't what? scare people. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's we speak. Let's yeah, continue with the analogy. And, 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 in order to join the cult of anarchy, <laughs> you have to burn everything you own. No, we're talking. I know you are, but you just then need a match and a gallon of gas. <laughs> I think we're saying the reason that older people don't come is because they've um, spent a lifetime mm -hmm. developing. Their current, the yeah. their current uh, thinking yeah. patterns. Yeah. Though a marble house might need more than a gallon of gas. I thought. I thought yeah. <laughs>